we have a breaking electric vehicle battery news for those people who are interested in electric vehicle batteries northvolt a swedish company assembles first lithium-ion battery cell at swedish gigafactory but what's important is that this is a bit to beat tesla in its 4680 batteries welcome back friends this is armin haryan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for breaking tesla and electric vehicle news so swedish battery group northvolt launched on wednesday its gigafactory in northern sweden the first of its kind to be undertaken by a european company on the continent the company hopes to rival tesla in the lithium ion battery market as you know tesla is building largest battery uh, company gigafactory in giga berlin now intended to compete with u.s electric car giant tesla and asian producers of lithium-ion batteries uh, northvolk in skelefte assembled its first electric vehicle battery cell late tuesday according to company making a new chapter in european industrial history the cell battery cell is the first to have been fully designed developed and assembled at the giga factory by a homegrown European battery company, Northvolt said. Once at full capacity, this site is expected to produce enough batteries to power 1 million electric vehicles annually, with an annual production capacity of 60 gigawatt hours, according to the firm. 60 gigawatt hours is a lot of batteries, friends. Like I said, once it's full capacity, this uh, company will do 1 million electric vehicles, power 1 million electric vehicles. Now, for comparison, Tesla Giga Berlin at full capacity is going to be some somewhere between 250 to 300 gigawatt hours that's much more than this but again if 60 gigawatt hours can do 1 million vehicles power 1 million vehicles imagine how many millions of vehicles tesla giga berlin's electric vehicle battery company uh, giga factory will do this first sale is only the beginning over the course of the coming years we we'll look forward to northvolt at expanding its production capacity greatly to enable the european transition to clean energy the company said tesla is due to launch its first factory in europe shortly and asian rivals have significant uh, operations in poland and hungary but no european firm had yet operated a significant facility until now northvolt has already secured 30 billion worth of um, 30, 30 billion dollars uh, worth of orders from european car giants giants including germany's bmw and volkswagen and sweden's volvo which uh, with which it plans a second european uh, factory a new factory dubbed northvolt ett at northvolt one in swedish already employs 500 people and will likely have as many as 3,000 staff once it reaches full capacity the first deliveries to commercial customers will be made in first part of 2022 now these are apparently greenest batteries the swedish company which has already raised funding for several billion euros was founded in 2016 by carlson and italian paolo cerutti uh, both former tesla employees its known shareholders include volkswagen goldman sachs bmw nordic funds and uh, since 2020 the founder of Spotify, Swedish billionaire Daniel Ek. In addition to private funding, Northvolt has also benefited from European loans as the region plays catch up in its electric vehicle production capacity. Faced with China, which dominates the market, Europe accounted for just 3% of world battery cell production in 2020, but aims to corner 25% of the market by the end of the decade, with several factory opening um, planned. Now, uh, Frederick Heldun, the head of Northvolt's new Giga factory, told Agence France Presse uh, AFP that the site should achieve production capacity for 300,000 vehicles or 16 gigawatt hour within the next 
two years. The Gigafactory will only consume renewable energy, according to Northvolt. This is why I said these are going to be greenest batteries for electric vehicles. This is a big deal because the battery production is not always green. Its location, some 200 kilometers from the Arctic Circle, was chosen because it is near important sites of renewable production in northern Sweden, including hydropower. Making battery cells is a very energy-hungry industry. Headland said, we have the objective of having the greenest cell on Earth. Well, friends, this is very exciting. So now next thing we will be looking for seeing Tesla Gigafactory in Austin or Giga Berlin producing their own batteries. And the capacity, battery capacity in Giga Berlin is huge, much more than Northvolt. But Northvolt is going to power 1 million electric vehicles. These are great advances in electric vehicle battery production. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think, friends? Should Tesla speed up maybe its battery building and production? This is Arvin Harian from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, sharing social media. I would greatly appreciate your help, friends. And give us thumbs up, like this video if you found it helpful. I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move to our next Tesla story. Good morning everyone and happy new year to our uh, visitors and our viewers at Torque News channel. Friends, we have some interesting and breaking news from Tesla Giga Berlin. Tobias Lind, who regularly provides uh, Giga Berlin flyovers of drone with Jurgen, has a very breaking and interesting news. He has tweeted this tweet saying, I saw a Model Y performance today at Giga Berlin. I've had a look at the VIN number. It is made in Germany. Tobias tweeted this uh, about 12.32 p.m. on December 31st yesterday. So you are, I guess, looking one of the first Giga Berlin made v uh, uh, model-wise. Uh, looks like this is the performance version, I hope. And uh, it's um, Tobias also has the w VIN number. And uh, I don't know, like, it's hard to read. I don't know if you can read it. It's, it's hard to read, but at least there is a VIN number. And Tobias confirms that this is made in Germany uh, uh, car. And so um, does the existence of VIN and the license plate imply that it is a production unit rather than a test unit and does that imply that production has started this one person named Simon 101 asked Tobias Tobias says no I am pretty sure it's just for testing you know in the past couple of days we have seen several testing cars at Giga Berlin and a trailer loaded with Model Y performance versions leaving Giga Berlin in the Berlin area and then yesterday I reported something that we saw a pair Apparently, a Model Y produced at Giga Berlin in Norway at the Tesla Center for winter testing. You know, Norway is cold weather and maybe Tesla is trying to have winter testing there because Norway is also a great market for Tesla vehicles and for electric vehicles in general. Well, this is overall good news that we're seeing already cars made at Giga Berlin coming out of the assembly line, although for purposes, but the VIN number confirms this is made in Germany. And also we're hoping that, you know, in the next couple of weeks, maybe we will Will have the final permit and Tesla will start the production either immediately or within 14 days after Tesla receives the final permit for Giga Berlin factory. In the meantime, you remember that yesterday I reported that uh, it is expected that Giga factory Texas will start this week, the first week of January. If you haven't seen that, uh, you can see it on our channel. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you guys know more information from Giga Berlin or references, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this development? Giga Berlin. I think we're getting very close from uh, for Tesla to start producing its cars at Giga Berlin. Have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next story.